Today, I'm going to explain how werewolves could possibly relate to plant genetics. First, we have to talk about plant roots. If you watched my video about water movement, you'll know that vascular plants take in water through their roots. This is a complex process, but what you need to know right now is that this requires surface area. More surface area means those roots can absorb more water. This is why roots are covered in little appendages called root hairs. Now, these root hairs aren't true hairs like we have. They're protrusions from specialized dermal cells, the layer of cells on the outside of the root. They are tiny, invisible to the naked eye, but they still have a big impact on allowing plants to absorb water. In cultivated crops, root hairs can contribute up to 77% of root surface area. For this video, we're going to be talking about Arabidopsis thaliana, the most commonly used plant in plant genetics research. In Arabidopsis plants, not every root dermal cell has a root hair. Instead, they form a pattern in which every few cells has a root hair. The surface of a root is basically a mosaic of cells, and some of them don't have hairs. Whether a cell becomes a root hair cell is determined by genetics, and the werewolf gene is one that influences a cell's fate. When turned on, the werewolf gene causes a root dermal cell to not have a root hair. With the assistance of other genes, some cells have root hairs and others don't, but that is only when all of the relevant genes are working as they should. Scientists have been able to tamper with these genes in the lab, and when the werewolf gene is deactivated, most of the root dermal cells form root hairs. As a result, the tiny roots are absolutely covered in root hairs, giving this gene the name werewolf. The werewolf gene, of course, is just one of many that regulates root hair formation in Arabidopsis thaliana plants. Oh, arguably, it has the coolest name. The werewolf gene itself is regulated and affected by other genes, and scientists are still trying to decode the entire system. So the takeaway here is that gene expression in plants, and all organisms, is a complicated business, and a problem in just one gene, like the werewolf gene, can have a big effect. As always, I love hearing from you folks, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or find me over on Twitter or Tumblr. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.